this project and other other pieces that I do, there's a lot of background work that goes on scene. And one of those things has to do with photography. And since, of course, I can't take any photos of Sophie, I went ahead and looked at the ones that were pre-existing. And I was very intentional about the choice in the photograph that I picked of her. Um, one, because it had a very androgynous feel to it. Um, she was seated in kind of a comfortable position reading, which to me gives this really like a strong sort of quiet strength uh, about her, which resonates with the story of the White Rose in general, an intelligence group, you know, like intellectual group that had um, really focused on nonviolent ways of communicating, uprooting this oppression uh, that the Nazis were doing in, in Germany at the time. Um, so this is her seated right here, reading, um, and I also feel like the very stern look on her face is interesting too, so that's why I chose that. Sophie had been a s story that I had known about years prior to this project actually, so I wasn't unfamiliar with who she was or, or what she did during that time, but what I didn't really know much about were these pages that they distributed and so my research was really focused on that and finding all of those leaflets doing some of my own uh, translation of the German language to find some similarities throughout each one of those six leaflets and one of the words that kept standing out was freedom and so that's why you actually see it in German repeated multiple times in my painting um, I also chose to enlarge the leaflets and leave them in their original state for several reasons. One, I think it's important, important to keep the, the German language as a part of this piece, but also it's interesting to me to see the mark making that the typewriter actually made during that time. It's, this is like historical documentation of like a moment in time, which I find very interesting. All of these you know, decisions that I made when creating this painting are super intentional. One of those things is the color choice. Um, so I really was drawn to the idea of focusing on the leaflets, specifically the, the mark making that a typewriter actually creates. Um, and so this is why you see a lot of this um, different sized pasted on collage work in the background and the color choice I stayed with kind of a black and gray color scheme mainly because that's what you would see in newsprint or you would see in uh, leaflets and these hues of purple that you may be able to see in the frame are actually intentional as well because black ink sometimes has like a little bit of a purple tint to it and I wanted to soften things up so it wasn't quite so dark and just black and white um, and that's that's basically why I went with purple.